What's up guys, in one of my previous videos I talked about the best methods that you can use to achieve a perfect consistency on your AI influencer and as you know the best method was a LoRa training. So in this video I want to show you the exact step-by-step -step routine what you should do, which buttons to press and what to write so you can achieve a perfect consistency on your AI influencer as well. It is the most advanced method that you can use and if done correctly you are gonna get good results if done poorly you are gonna get bad results but i'm literally gonna tell you which buttons to press so you can achieve a perfect consistency so let's get started so before we begin what even is a lora training i do not want to get too much into the technical stuff of this but the base image models that you are using imagine that they have millions and millions of images that they have been trained on they have been trained on like this image and it has been told that it is a giant oak tree in a sunlit meadow and they have been trained on billions of images but they have not been trained on the specific girl that you want to create right so this is when the LoRa training comes in play because you can use these images and teach this model that your AI influencer looks exactly like this and you will achieve the perfect results. And the only thing that you are gonna need to do later is that you are just gonna use this keyword that you used in this fourth step and you are always gonna get the perfect images. So let's get started. Many people complicate it for no reason, but in today's video, I will show you that it's super simple. So first step is create a base image and the base image should contain the face of your AI influencer and some like part of the body as well. Like these full body images are like perfect. And when generating the base image for your AI influencer, you basically have two options. You can either generate a base AI image. That's the method that we are going to use in this video. And I'm going to tell you how, or you can steal it from Instagram. If you steal it from Instagram, like let's say you find an OnlyFans girl, you find 50 images of her and you do all the next steps that I'm going to do. Yes, you will achieve a perfect consistency of her, but you are probably going to get banned. There is a second option if you don't want to generate an AI based image that you do this process for one girl. So you steal 50 images of one girl, then you steal another 50 images of a second girl, then you merge it together. You train two different LoRa models, you merge it, and then you are going to get a new face. But in today's world, it's literally too much complicated to do that. And the easiest method that we are going to be focusing on is generating your AI base image. Well, how do you even do that? You have many options. The easiest method today is to use CDream v4 text to image model. It is on this website one image generation costs you 0.03 dollars but you do not have to set up any workflows you do not have to have advanced hardware and you pretty much do not have to do anything there are two more options that you can use you can use gwen image model but you have to set it up in comfy ui or on this website but there is like no need to do that or you can use nano banana from google it's free, but the quality is not as good as you can get in these images. And the reason I want you to use this image model, the C Dream, is that the better images you are gonna create your data set on, that you are gonna train the model on, the better the result. If you use shit images, you are gonna get a shit trained model. If you use good images and you do it properly, you are gonna get goodly trained model. So you create some prompt, it can be like something like that, and here is your image. That's not what we are going to use. This was just an example that what you can do, but we are going to go with this image. This is already an image I have trained on, so I do not want to create anything else right now. But here is an example of another model I trained previously. And as you can see, these images have a face and they have their whole body seen. So after you have generated your base image you have to go to the second step you have to create a data set data set means 30 images of this girl and they have to be like 70 percent upper body and face 20 percent portrait 10 percent full body 
these percentages are just a reference if it will be 60 and 30 and 10 percent it like doesn't really matter but like this is the standard that we are shooting for and which tools are we using as i said in the previous step you can also use Gwen image edit you can use nano banana and you can use c dream the beauty of c dream is that they also have an edit model so if you find on this website an edit model then it means that you can upload an image and you can write a photo of this girl lying on the ground in her bedroom while wearing oversized black hoodie and when you press run you are gonna get a image of this girl sometimes these generations are not perfect so you might want to generate more of these images like two three four and usually one of them will be good enough so as you can see like we have an okay image like it's not the best but if you generate like more of these images you are gonna get better results if you use a better prompt than this like the previous i showed you you are gonna get a better result and you might be asking okay but why do we even need to train a LoRa model if we can do this like there is no need to train a LoRa model right well you are kind of right but you are not if you want to create a just basic images like that you can absolutely do that with c dream and you do not have to do anything else but if you want to like more photorealistic images if you want to use different models than c dream if you want to create a high quality videos then the LoRa model comes in handy because you are going to get a better consistency and if you are shooting a videos from a far away the face is usually kind of deformed but if you do use that workflow and put the LoRa model in then the face will be more consistent even in the videos and don't forget that these generations cost 0.03 dollars per generation when you train your own LoRa model then you can either generate it directly on your computer for free or you can rent a GPU and you can generate there and it will be much more cost effective than paying 0.03 for every image for the rest of your life so once you created a data set you have like 30 images like these are like good images for a data set you see this is a more close-up this is a full body image this is a close-up this is full body image full body image this is like kind of weird image but you need a variety of data set you need a variety of data so you get the best training results so after you have generated like 30 images then you have to choose the ones that are the best so you probably generated like a hundred and from the hundred images you choose just 30 images and images which not to use is that you wouldn't wanna use on your instagram so you do not use images that are somehow weird and you do not use images that have the face covered because that's what we need to train on we need to train on the face so step number three i don't know why there is a four but it doesn't really matter uh, you have to caption your data set it's optional and you have to choose a keyword that you are going to use keyword that you are going to use is this is the first word it doesn't really matter what it is it has to be something that's unique that is not trained on the previous image model so it cannot be a blonde girl it cannot be a tree it cannot be an Emily it has to be it has to be like something special and then you can caption the rest of your image the captioning is optional because it really depends on which training model you are going to be using because there are some training methods that require you to caption your data set and there are some methods that don't require to caption your data set we are going to be using fall.ai image trainer so it does not require captioning your data set so after you have chosen a keyword you may be done your data set then you have to train the actual model and there are many methods to use you can use diffusion pipe it's like the most advanced method it takes hours to set up you have to use command line it's like kind of advanced and like the roi is not that good you can get pretty much same results on fall.ai and it's completely instant you do not have to set up anything you just upload the images you choose some settings and i'm going to show you just that 
Last thing before I show you is you have to decide which image model you are going to train. As I said, there are many image models. There is Gwen, Seadream, NanoBanana, and people usually train these models on Gwen or WON 2.2. WON 2.2 is a video model, but it can also be used for images, so it is the most versatile. And because the model is trained on videos, it usually has a much better character quality. So we go to fall.ai as well, and we search WON 2.2 image train. And we see WON 2.2 image trainer. And here we are on the website. You see that I have already trained three models here and it's like super consistent. It's perfect. You do not pretty much have to set up anything. So what do you do? You choose the images that you have chosen. You upload like all of the 30 images here. I'm going to upload just six because I'm not really going to train the model right now. And now these settings are important. The trigger phase is like it can be anything, right? We are gonna use this blonde 333 that we have chosen previously. Number of steps, leave it on default. Is a style, no. And now you choose more. And because we did not caption our data set, we need to include synthetic captions. It's important because otherwise our model is not gonna know what are we training on. Then you leave it all on default and then you are going to press start. I'm not going to press start because I have already trained this model, but I will show you what you do after. So the model that I've trained is here. You see eight days ago. And when I go on show files, I can download three different files. The only file that we actually need is this diffusers LoRa file. So we are going to download that. And we can see that the model has been downloaded. That's not all. Now we have to convert it into a proper model that we can actually use in ConfiUI. So now we are going to head into RunPod. Or you can do this on your own computer if you have a strong GPU. But many people don't because this GPU that we are renting for $0.6 per hour is usually kind of expensive. So the setup of ConfiUI on Rampond is nothing hard, but if you would like to see a video covering just that, I can do that for you. Let me know in the comments. But I will assume that you know how to set up your own GPU, how you can set up your ConfiUI. So we are going to head into Rampod. We are going to open JupyterLab. So now we are in the terminal. Now we have to move into ConfiUI. Now we have to activate our virtual environment. If you do not know what these like comments mean, it doesn't really matter. You can just copy me. And now if we go to this folder, we just need to take the file that we have downloaded, put it here, and now you see it's going to upload. And here you can see that it is uploading. And meanwhile, when it's uploading, we are going to use this Python script. You can see it's kind of long, but it doesn't really matter because I'm going to link it in the description. And the only thing that you need to do is to launch this Python script. How are you going to do that? You are going to write Python and name of the file. This is it. And now you are going to press enter. The reason why we are doing this complicated stuff right now is that we can actually convert it for a proper ConfiUI model. So the workflow that we are going to be using next actually knows what, like, what it needs, what it's doing, how it's working, and we actually get a proper model. So now you see that we have to enter a path to our model that we have uploaded. And the path is, the, is this. The, this is what we have uploaded. Diffuser blonde.save tensors. Enter. Now it's like doing something and now it's done. When it's done, we can actually launch ConfiUI and we can actually test our model. So our ConfiUI is launching and you see it's not ready yet. But one thing I forgot to tell you guys, when the script is finished, you will see that there has been a new file created, diffuser blonde underscore converted. This is our LoRa model that we are going to use. So we are going to copy it, we are going to go to models, we are, go we are going to go to LoRa's, and here we are going to 
paste the thing. And as you can see, there will be a diffuser bone underscore converted. And this is our model that we need to use. So our conf UI has loaded. And the only thing that you need to do here when it's all set up, that here is the LoRa loader. It like doesn't matter what all of the other nodes do. You need to load your LoRa model. And you see that we have diffuser blonde underscore converted. This is what we are going to use. And I believe it's here one more time. Yes. We are going to use diffuser blonde underscore converted dot save tensors. And now we are going to prompt our image. When we go back to the fall.ai, you can see that this is the trigger word that I used. So I'm going to copy that. And this word means this trained girl. So we are going to use the trigger world and we are going to just write, uh, she is standing in a luxury bathroom while wearing winter jacket. And like, we are not going to do some like super advanced prompting. The only reason why we are even doing this is that I want to show you that it works. So, the image is upscaling right now, but as you can see, we have not used any reference image and we have gotten the girl that the model has been trained on. So I see that as a success and yeah, that's it. So as I said, if you want the best consistency, just follow this guide. If you have any questions, something is not working, you can ask in the comments. But I believe that this was extremely detailed and all of the resources are provided in the description. So if you need any help, don't worry and just write a comment. If you have liked this video, drop a like and subscribe. If there are any other topics that you would like to see covered, write them in the comments and I will see you at the next one. Bye.